Hi guys, and welcome back to GFFA Games, where we're still playing Final Liberation Warhammer Epic 40,000. There is a little bit of lore uh, in contained in the booklet, which I've just read through. Uh, I decided to read through the booklet because the tutorial we did last video really didn't teach us anything about the game. It just presented us with a very, very, very easy scenario and it turns out that uh, if you read the booklet um, it tells you what to do each turn you know what what you should be doing um, to kind of introduce you to some of the game mechanics but not all of the game mechanics um, this video we are going to be jumping into the Volistad campaign and there is quite a bit of information kind of precursor to that in the booklet itself, which should have come up on the screen by now. So let's jump in. We've got three different difficulty um, modes. I am going to play on the easiest setting, and the difference between each is simply the uh, orcs get more morale points each, to, so they can have more units, I think. That's all that happens. I don't think it. Uh, I don't think it makes the units any better or our units any worse. Uh, there's also two different play modes. You can have it where you uh, each have a detachment has a turn, then their attach detachment has a turn, and then the second of your detachments has a turn. Yeah, well, I should say phase until the turn's over. Uh, I don't really want to play like that. I'd rather have all of my detachments move, all of the enemy detachments move within a turn. Do it that way. It's a lot easier. I say easier. Um, it's a lot less time consuming. Okay, here we go, Lord Commander, deploy your units. Um, obviously one of the highlights of this game are the FMV sequences. Um, I do quite enjoy them. Right, so we've got our deployment phase to begin with. Um, let me just see what I can do. So each detachment... I have detachment of Thunderhawk, Sir. detachment one of Space Marines. Ah, that's easy. You can move the entire detachment around at once. You see by clicking on this uh, thing, or you can move just the um, a unit at a time. I think we can also, yep, yeah, we can change the. Uh, What's it called? Formation. <laughs> That's the word I'm looking for. Now, what it recommends you do is have your predators flanked by your troops. I'm not sure if that's going to work out for us, but we'll see. Uh, have that come down a little bit and then we should have a detachment of whirlwinds the whirlwinds can be out of the way they don't need to be close at all Sir. 
Okay, so turn one, what I'm going to do is save this as O one D. I should say B01, because we're in battle. It's the first mission and it's our deployment. It's always good to have a um a saving structure like that I think so what are we wanting to do we've got guys over here which we're gonna shoot with our whirlwinds so it looks like there's guys in here and guys out in the open okay he failed miserably cycle to next unit Try again. He has also failed miserably. I think you're done as well. You can mark them done, and what that does is uh, means that when you cycle to next unit, it won't go over them, even though they've got move uh, points left. Well, actually, they don't have move points because it looks like firing them. Uh, Okay, we killed some guys. <coughs> um, so this is the morale points here. As you can see, we've got 570, they've got 380. Uh, if your morale gets to zero, um, you lose, <laughs> basically. Uh, the way that your morale drops is by your units dying, um, as well as these objectives. So that objective's not taken yet. That objective is also not taken yet, but by the end of this turn that's going to be the Orcs objective, which means that each turn we'll lose 25 morale points, because by them having an objective mark, that's what happens. Anyway, let's switch to detachments. If I can, can I do that? There's something else we can do, isn't there? I think we can turn on grid so we can actually see a little bit better. Uh, that's switched on. Okay. And we can also... So that shows us how far we can move. That's how far we can fire. So we want to move as far up as we can. Okay, and you as well, as far up as we can. Right. Go back to units. No target available to fire at. Okay. I think that's fine, and then this guy just come up with the others. Let's end our turn. Turn two, let's drop in another save. Right, let's go back to our whirlwinds. So I want to try and take out that entire squad. The reason for that is... Oops. So I was waiting for the disc to catch up. The reason for that is you... Well, they don't lose the points until the entire squad's dead. So if you can take out an entire squad, you're best off doing that. There we go, you see their morale points drop from 380 to 365.
which is what we want. See, this can sometimes hit. We have him change height. Can he hit over there? Apparently not. Why is that? Oh, his range isn't that good. <laughs> Even less with bolters. Never mind. Let's go back to the Space Marines. Go back to movement. Move you guys forwards. I've just realised I've gone back to uh, unit movement rather than uh, detachment, but never mind. If you click after you've asked them to go, it will uh, do it a little faster. And then Predators, let's get them. Uh, get them up here. Right click in the direction you want them to point, you can change their orientation. He can't hit anything, he can't hit anything, and he can't hit anything. So people have moved them too far, they've got no fire points left. Okay, so I think we are just gonna turn them around. I don't think it really the orientation really matters for your infantry. But for your tanks, um, they've got better armour at the front. I'm not sure if you can see. Yes, so, so front 74, 59 side and 43 back. So you don't want to ever be, you know, put your back to the enemy. Okay, we've routed some... Um, of the enemy units. All routing means is that um, they, Sir. if a unit comes under fire, and I don't think any of ours show this yet because we haven't come under fire, but there'll be a suppression uh, percentage, and if if that suppression percentage gets over twenty five percent at the end of the turn, you'll make a a roll for. Uh, morale. So I'm just going to use the arrow keys to flick around. I think we can zoom out a little bit, which might make it a little easier to see what it is we want to be firing at. As you can see, these tanks currently have. Well, they can't see anything <laughs> to be able to shoot at them yet. Um, it might be a little better once we get across the bridge, but we don't want to be advancing too fast let's get you guys across there you guys across there unfortunately I can't Sir. see how far Sir. I can move very well uh, on the bridge itself Commissar. Just zoom in a second. Right, tank. Let's wait for the disc. Like I say, I am. Uh, predators should be able to move around troops, I thought. Maybe not. I thought they could pass through troops. Perhaps I was mistaken. Let's zoom out again. Let's see if this Thunderhawk can hit anything. Now, does coming up increase your ability to see?
It doesn't look like it, does it? Bring it over here. Still can't see. Let's, uh, how do we bring it back down? <laughs> I don't want it to get to a shot out of the air. Doesn't seem to cost anything to move it up and down. I don't want to land it. Right. Whirlwinds. Unit, their morale has dropped to 325. Well, let's see what they do. So, they've routed some more of their orcs. I think these are Gretchens, actually, these little guys. Look very much like the Gretchens from uh, Space Crusade. Right, we had some movement and fire left over, so that was a, a a shot of opportunity, whatever they call it. So if they come into range during the um, their phase, we get to shoot at them. Right, so our guys still aren't quite... We really want to just kind of set up a perimeter, I think, across here. So if I get my guy to walk here you over here Commissar. face the right direction Sir. Sir. Commissar. just yet. Tank can come in down here perhaps. Are in range or anything? No, because he's got no uh, fire left. No points left to fire. Anybody in range, have we? No, not yet. Nearly in range. Oh, now we're... Uh, pop you backwards. Right, then Come you... Inside. Can we get across at all? Waiting for the disc again. Right. Whirlwinds. What are you going to be doing? Take these guys out. Ah, perfect. So these guys can actually destroy our tanks. But, I'm not sure Whirlwinds can really do much damage. They can take them out, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm not quite sure how I... Uh, if I right-click it, I can see that they have... Armour at the side's 50. Our Whirlwind... Penetration's 40, so no. They can't actually take it out. They might be able to from behind, because I think it was armour. Oh no, 43. I don't think it can do any damage to those. So there's no point in shooting um, 
shooting whirlwinds at those. They're not bikes, I think they're battle wagons, aren't they? I can't remember what it's called now. Let me have a look. Uh, war bubby. That's right, war bubbies. Battle wagons we will encounter later. So I think the only thing we haven't done anything with is the Thunderhawk. And again, we're just going to move it over here. Still can't hit anything, but it is in a better position to. The Thunderhawk is fairly weak, so we need to be pretty careful with it. Right, it's their turn four. Okay, a firing of opportunity there. We didn't hit anything though by the looks of it. Now it's our turn again. Right, so we are going to push forward a little bit more, just so we get in range. The We have taken an objective now, so they're going to be losing 25 points a turn, just like we are. They've got far fewer points than us, so as long as we can keep hitting them... Forwards. Come with us. Okay, they had a firing of opportunity. I was going to bring them back Come because. Uh, they lost quite a few guys there. Let's forward a little bit. Right, tanks. Still can't hit anything, but that might be because. Yeah, we moved too far to fire. Fire, but we are missing dramatically. Never mind. Um, can we move you to? Best place for them. So that's 32, 30, so might as well shoot along with 32. Chance of hitting. And we got it. That's good, that's one more down. Them hit that war buggy. You call them war buggies. Oh, they are. They are war buggies. That's fine. <laughs> I thought I was being silly again. Right, what can you hit? So we've got some more guys up here. over here can't really see much now I'm aware there's actually quite a lot of uh, guys up here so we are just going to shoot at that's how it looks, that's 30% 34% 35% no point shooting at that shoot at the guys with 35% chance of hitting Got one of them at least. I'm 
assuming the percentage chance to hit is going to be relatively similar for all of them. Perfect, we took them out. Their morale has dropped to number 15. And that is going to be our turn. So when a unit's routed, all they do is fall back, but they still, um, once their suppression rate lowers, it uh, does, you know, you can use them still. They're just further back, so it's not as, uh, Convenient, I guess. Sorry, <laughs> couldn't think of the word I wanted to say then. Well, you can't hit anything. We are actually just going to get you to entrench then. So entrenching a unit, all that does is uh, keep them in place, basically. Uh, but you need four movement points to entrench. Thunderhawk, what can you hit? Nothing, apparently. It's unusual. Uh, don't really want to bring him forwards at all. But we are just going to mark him as done in that case. Predator, similarly. Cannot hit anything this turn. Um, so we are just going to again mark him as done. So it's going to be the same for all of them. Might be a mistake this. There isn't actually that much visible on the map, so next turn we might have to move forwards. I don't want to move forwards because we've only taken out two war buggies. And those war buggies are perfectly capable of destroying our tanks. So, you know, we do want to be careful. All units done, yes. Because our Thunderhawk and Predators didn't uh, fire last turn, they've got plenty of uh, opportunities to fire during the uh, enemy's phase. Okay, they are hitting our Space Marines. Um, okay, so I'm going to have them wait for the disc. Have them guys fall back because they are pretty devastated. Um, basically, your units, as long as they're not all killed, are still um, what's the word? Um, as long as they're not all killed, you, they're not counted as a loss. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. So the Thunderhawk, yes, he's got a shot on him. Well, that's the only thing he's got a shot on. What have we got up here? More orcs. There are more war buggies somewhere, but I'm not sure where. Haven't revealed themselves just yet. I mean, their morale is so low now. There, there isn't going to be much left of this, I don't think. Um, this match. Tanks can't actually hit anything at the minute. Let's 
It's a shame we didn't take them out, but never mind. Haha, <laughs> I love that. Yes! So the Orc Force has vanquished. What that means is we destroyed enough units to get them down to zero. Press the end turn button when you are finished reviewing the battlefield. So what we've now got is an opportunity to... I mean, we could just take out more guys. We can try and take that um, objective. The only thing is, I'm not sure how many more orcs there are over there. So if I send my, for example, Thunderhawk, which I think is the only thing capable of traveling far enough to capture it, it's probably going to get shot down. Maybe not, okay. So I've sent him over there. Mm. All units done. These guys haven't done. We may as well try and take out as many as we can. It doesn't look like we're going to do a great deal, does it? But never mind, I think we've taken that other objective from the uh, orcs, so it's pretty good. The thing is, so what we're doing at the moment is just establishing like a beachhead on the campaign map. And that's what the ultramarines are here to do. The main thrust of our force is going to be the Imperial Guard, which we will get to next. Right, so this is the debriefing. And as you can see, we sustained no losses in any of our detachments, despite the fact that we did lose marines it doesn't matter because we got those units out of there so they couldn't be completely destroyed uh, these forces don't carry over into the rest of the campaign like i just said so it doesn't really make much of a difference Very impressive, Agrippa. Your victory was decisive. It was in the Emperor's glory, Commissar Holt. We must now return to aid our brothers in their quest. Yes, of course. The newly arrived warriors of the Mordian Iron Guard will provide the backbone to our initial assault. We move to take the space move closely. Reinforcement fleet Ravenger approaches. The port is tactically crucial for their inclusion in our forces. The Lord Commander Militant is fortunate to have you as his right hand in this campaign, Holt. No living Commissar holds more respect. Goodbye, Agrippa. May the Emperor guide you in your quest. Okay, so here we are on the campaign map. So we have just taken this small area down here. And the next objective is to take, I think, do we right click it? Yes. We need, so hang on. Let me just right click where we were. Zukov. We get 10 resources a turn. It's now Imperial Control. The last province the Orcs overran. Zukov's wide open areas make it a prime spot to land space marines. So that's what we've done. We've now got a foothold on the world of uh, Volistad. The next place we need to take is immediately here. It's a spaceport, Kotslev. So we'll get 20 resources a turn if we take that. Volistad's main spaceport is still operational, but the orc's destructive tendencies won't leave it that way for long. 
there I'm gonna put something up on the screen from the manual which is just the next bit of the campaign I think it just tells you about the world so you can kind of compare that to what you can see on the map at the moment I don't, to be honest I don't think it's very clear that that relates to this map but well that's it as you can see each section is kind of I mean I can go through and just right click on each bit and you can see the orcs are everywhere now this is the first bit we're going to do because the space marines have now buggered off back to um, bloody Ultramar I don't know where they're off to and left us by ourselves <laughs> us down here Holt and uh, so that's what's stationed in um, what was it called Zukov we've got Holt and who's this guy Colonel Hogwari Okay, so this is a regiment, I believe. You can move one regiment a turn on the map. Within each regiment, you know what? I might be wrong. This might be a company. Company One Space Marines. Yeah, okay. And this is everything that he can command, I think. Oh, you know what? I don't even know. Very confusing. We will have to come back to this once I've perused the manual again, just to find out exactly what it is that I'm doing. I don't want to do anything wrong. However, what we are going to do is attack Kotslev next episode. So, please join me then. Thank you for watching.